Mobi made measurements are based on the neutral zero method. This video is going to show you what to do in case your patient cannot reach a zero position due to pain or previous injuries, for example. Here is a quick illustration of the shoulder measurement. On the left hand side you can see an example of what the zero position should look like. On the right is an example of a starting position due to an impossible zero position. Now we are going to take a look at which solutions MobiMed provides in order to document the starting position. Before every measurement you have the option to indicate that the zero position is impossible by clicking on the button Zero Position Impossible. Then the software offers the solutions available for the current measurement. You can either determine the zero position automatically or pre-indicate the zero position deficit. The pre-indication of the zero position deficit is available for all measurements and that is why we are going to look at this solution first. First, step away from the patient and simply hold the Mobi device in the actual zero position. Please note that this step is just a simulation of where the zero position should be and does not happen directly on the patient. As soon as Mobi is in the correct zero position, confirm by pressing one of the measuring buttons on top of the device. Afterwards, Bring the patient in the starting position possible for him and place Mobi on the patient as indicated by the software. Finally, confirm the starting position by pressing one of the measuring buttons on top of the device. As you can see, the measurement starts at 22 degrees. Now you can guide the patient through the movement and end the measurement by pressing one of the measuring buttons on top of the device. Now let's take a look at the results. As you can see, the software shows three different values. The number on the left stands for the outward rotation. The number on the right indicates the inward rotation. And the number in the middle stands for the zero position and in this case the starting position of the patient. Under normal circumstances the number in the middle would always be zero and the two other values would indicate the full range of motion of the individual joint. However, in this case the patient wasn't able to move his shoulder beyond the 22 degree mark and when it came to the inward rotation he was only able to rotate his shoulder to 66 degrees. Therefore, his range of motion is restricted to the area between 22 and 66 degrees. Now we are going to take a look at how to determine zero position automatically. When you have selected the second solution, you do not have to pre-indicate the zero position. The software automatically determines the difference between zero and starting position. You simply place Mobi on the patient in his starting position. From there, you start the measurement by pressing on one of the measuring buttons. As you can see, the measurement starts at 13 degrees. Now you can guide the patient through the movement and end the measurement by pressing one of the measuring buttons on top of the device. In this specific example, the starting position was at 13 degrees and the end position at 86. Consequently, the range of motion of this patient is restricted to the area between 13 and 86 degrees. These are the two solutions MobiMed offers in case of an impossible zero position. Thank you very much for your attention. In case you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.